In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to scan for implants using the CS3500. So, here's your implant acquisition tab. I want you to click on this tab, but before you click on that tab, I want you to select where, what case you're doing. Are you scanning the lower with the scan body? Are you scanning the upper with a scan body? Or are you, do you have scan bodies in both arches? So for this demo, we're going to be having a scan body in the upper jaw. So tick that and then go to the next screen. Okay, so now we've come into a screen. I'll just explain what I've done here. For the purposes of this tutorial, I have re-imported a previous scan that I've taken. So we have the upper, we have the lower uh, type dot model, and we've set the occlusion. Now, in the implant scanning, all the instructions are clearly stated here. You cannot go from one to four without going past two and three, so it's very intuitive and easy to use. So we've done our acquisition, as it's highlighted here, and what we've done is we've taken scans of the fixture head, okay, without the scan body in place. Now we move forward to the cutting section. So what that is going to do is going to show us the arch we want to cut out. Now what we want to do is we want to use this circular cutout tool and I'm only going to do it on this one fixture. I know there are three fixtures in this arch. Left click and hold on your mouse and drag a circle outside of the fixture. That has now automatically cut out that fixture head. Now what we do intraorally or on this model is we add that scan body. So we screw in that scan body and then we are going to scan just that scan body. So move it forward to the next screen and now ready to scan. So if we tick up our 3500 and I'm going to start capturing the scan body into that arch you can see that the scan body now the important bit here is to capture every angle of the scan body and it might be a handy tip to use the smaller tip to take that one off and use this smaller tip to get in and around every angle of our scan body. Let's have a review and see whether we've got enough of that image yet. Okay. The reason we are taking one scan body scan and a previous scan is in our previous scan we capture the emergence profile. In this scan we capture the scan body. The laboratory will receive three STL files, one of the upper, one of the lower and one of the scan body scan. So there are three STL files going over to the lab CAD CAM systems. So let's just have a look. Have we captured enough of that scan body? Pretty good. So then we've pressed the refinement button here and we wait for the system to refine. As you can see, we've now refined the images. So you have your upper, your lower. It's highlighted here as it's got to the refinement stage, but you want to review your scan body. So this impression shows the fixture, but it doesn't show the scan body. So split the screen. You can now see both. You can now see if you're looking at the left-hand screen, is your fixture and your emergence profile capturing and in the right hand screen it is duplicated this file and added the scan body. So now you've got upper and lower and a file with your scan body in place. Now click on that split screen icon again, you're back to your refinement screen. A couple of icons down here that you can click to show that with scan body there we go, there's your upper arch. Now a handy tip is that you always scan in this order because sometimes the scan bodies are quite long. Now if you had to take the occlusion, you could not take the occlusion with the scan body in place because it would prop open the bite. So this is why with our system you take the fixture head scan, the opposing scan, then the bite and then add the scan body later. So if you're happy with everything, you are now doing the last two steps before exporting. You're checking all down the right hand side and then you're scanning, you're telling the system which areas you scanned. This is just the same as it would be for orthodontics or crown bridge. At that point, if you're happy with everything, you proceed by pressing the done button here and it is saved and exported.